It's the first one. This corner here does get a lot of bad. If you need to tighten up the drag, if not, we set our drag so that the fish can fight, but also be able to bring the fish in. How's that fish fighting, Jeff? You know, fishing this morning with Jeff and Frank. And we're already into our first bass of the day. We're just starting to talk about hooks. We're going to mention the fact those circle hooks always hook the fish right in the corner of the mouth. Yeah, look at that. That's a nice big fish. Let's see what's, what you got on the other side. Frank, go ahead and reel it in and cast it up towards the front of that boat. Ready? Okay, we're going to let this one go. And then go ahead and set her back down in the water there. And there we go. All right, so you guys are from Maryland? Yep. Yeah. Came up to fish in the St. Lawrence River? Have you been coming up here for quite a while? Yeah. Oh, yeah, a long time. Yeah. Early 70s. All right. And now Frank's got one on. Oh, that's a nice bass. A jumper. Yeah, exactly. Smallmouth is just amazing. When they, they are. Do that. Looks like about a 14 incher maybe. What do you say, Ed? 13, 14 inches? Yeah, somewhere. Maybe in there. a hair bigger? We'll see. That's a nice fish. Yeah. Oh, it's even bigger. 16. Yeah, 15 and a half, 16, yep. 16. Mine's gonna dance the most. There you go. I like it. Hey, some drag. Well, this isn't time, right there. Slam right in the net. And again, gotta love the circle hook, because it's right there, corner of the mouth, pops right off. Alright. Do that. Frank, reel it in. I mean, not Frank. Jeff, reel it in. Have him put you on the middle. Alright. Oh, look at him go. Don't go too soon, Mr. Reyes. There we go. Ouch. He's heavier. He's a heavier one. Oh, yeah. Small D hooker, please. Thank you. That's a beauty right there. Let's see. This one I would dare say is about 17, 17 and a half. Yeah, right there, right on the money, 17 and a half. Oh, beautiful. And tell me, I don't know the size of my fish. All right, now we're gonna let them go. Go ahead. There she goes. Right out that way. No sooner said than done. I just said I saw one near your the location you casted. Yep. Two seconds later, he's on the line. There you go. Let's see if we can get a double in the boat. Let me 
zoom in on that where that gets hooked. Uh, that's all right. Maybe on the next one. That one's right in the corner of the mouth too. Yeah. Smaller one too. Oh, hello there. I love that. That was at least a five foot jump. <laughs> yep, and he's the perfect size too. Look at this little guy. All right. Now we do have a double in the boat, right? When I just called it, I said maybe we'll get a double in the boat. We got two in here. All right. That's perfect eating size too, right there. Okay, got a couple fish to let go here. Whoa, there's a little shower for you, Ed. Yeah. And away they go. All right. Small mouth loves to go underneath the boat and everywhere else, eh? Switching up to ultralight now. Let's see what kind of a fight you guys can get from the ultralight reels. It's a little harder to set the hook too, just because you have so much bend in the rod. You really have to strike back. Yeah, but we are using the circle hook, so, you know, I mean, they do set themselves 99% yes, they of the time. Yes, they do. All right, here we go. First one on an ultralight. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Frank, make it a double. Take a little longer to get this one in. Yeah, it's taking a little longer, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> one second. Well, Jeff, how was that versus the other pole? You like it? Yeah, that's one. Very nice. There's a brown trout. Yeah, they get, they're gently picking it up, aren't they, Frank? Yeah. That's a small guy, but it's a Yeah, it's a small guy. Perfect set. And look at the other one behind him. There you go. What do you say, Frank? You want to stick with that ultralight? You like that? Yeah, I do. <laughs> you do. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, I know. Some people like that. That's good. Look at that. Now oh, there's two other ones right you with them too. Right up there if you have to. I said no where if you want me to take it to a different part of the boat. No, no you're no, fine. You I don't want to get the line. Oh yeah, up. no, yeah. that's all right. You do what you need to. We work around you. So you got a crowd watching you and that fish has got a crowd watching him. longer on an ultralight just because it's lighter line and everything else. But it's always worth the fight. Nice fish. Just heading down nice and slow. Alright, now we're now we're hooked into a muskie. He hit that right at the boat. Okay. Keep that line tight. Nice job. Let's get him in. Look at that. Okay, bring it that way. Pull that way. <laughs> right over. Come right on over. Go right over Ed's head with it. There you go. Back over the other way. Okay. He's going to have 
have maybe one, two more runs left. Okay. Go ahead, you can walk right up there. Oh, I just want to see it. Yeah, walk right up there this way, oh, see. I see it. Keep coming in. Wow. Keep his head up. Take your picture with me on this beautiful oh, fish you've got uh, here. All right. Look at that. Yeah. All right. All right, we just got this muskie. 39 and a half inches, 17 inch girth. We're about to release him back into the St. Lawrence. It's a beautiful fish. He should take off here any second. There he goes. Nice. Gorgeous. And that's your first musket. Yeah. How about you? Great. Big high five. Five, five. That's great. That's wonderful. Outstanding. Yeah.